Okay, here we are again working on a related rates application from calculus. The statement of this problem, which happens to be number 31 in our book, is a light shines from the top of a pole 50 feet high. A ball is dropped from the same height from a point 30 feet away from the light. How fast is the shadow of the ball moving along the ground a half a second later? Assume the ball falls a distance s equals 16 t squared feet in t seconds. Well, you can see I've drawn a picture here. You uh, can see I indicated the light, which is uh, shining. The ball started out here and is dropping. A half a second later, here's its position. The height of the ball is changing and represented by the variable h. The distance from where the ball is dropped to the shadow is also changing, and I've indicated that as a distance of x. 30 feet is a fixed distance away from the light that the ball was dropped, and 50 feet is the fixed distance of the height of the pole. Well, right, a, right away I can uh, write an expression for the uh, height of the ball at any point in time. If I write h equals 50, which is where it started, minus the distance it's falling, which is 16t squared. Okay, So this h can be represented by this expression. Now, what we want to find is the rate at which the shadow is moving. How fast is the shadow moving a half a second later? So we're trying to find dx dt, how fast the shadow is moving. Okay. So I need an equation uh, that has an x in it so I can take the derivative. Well, I'm going to have to use a little geometry here. You can see that uh, in this picture we actually have two triangles. We have this smaller triangle involving x and h, and we have the bigger triangle involving this distance here, x plus 30, and this height of 50. And those are similar triangles. And while I'm not going to prove it, I think it's obvious. So I can write a proportion relating x and h in the little triangle to x plus 30 and 50 in the big triangle. And I'm going to go ahead and solve that equation for x. If I cross multiply, I get 50x equals 30h plus 30h. Subtracting xh to the other side. And then factoring out at x, I get x times 50 minus h equals 30h. And I'm going to divide by 50 minus h. So the expression for x in terms of h is 30h over 50 minus h. Now, we don't really want... Uh, x in terms of h, because we want to take the der derivative with respect to t, as you can see up here. So I'm going to go ahead and substitute uh, 50 minus 16t squared, where h is. And when I do that, I get 30 times 50 minus 16t squared over 50 minus 50 minus 16t squared. I'll do a little simplifying here. And on this side, when I distribute that 30, I get 1,500 minus 480 t squared over, well, 50 minus 50 is 0, and then a negative, negative 16 t squared is 16 t squared. Well, that doesn't look like a real pretty derivative, even with the quotient rule. So I'm going to divide ahead of time before I take the derivative. When you do 1,500 divided by 16t squared, I've already calculated that, working out to be 93.75t to the negative 2 minus 480 divided by 16, which we already know is 30, and t squared divided by t squared is 1. So there's my expression for x. Now we'll take the derivative with respect to t 
and this is just a power rule, rule derivative. So dx over dt is negative, oh, let's see, 187.5. Negative 2 times 93.75 is negative 187.5. t to the negative 3 minus 0, because the derivative of 30 is 0. And since we're talking about t equals um, 1 half, I'm going to go ahead and plug in a 1 half. So that's negative 187.5 times 8, because 1 half to the negative 3 is the same as 2 cubed, which is 8. And that answer happens to be negative 1,500 feet per second. And I think you'll agree the challenge on this problem was to find a way to get an equation for x and h and make sure that we relate that to time. And I think we did that by using this uh, substitution right here. h equals 50 minus 16 t squared. And once again, we ended up with negative 1,500 feet per second. Good luck.